good morning everyone um by the way thank you to all the people who who started subbing to me when i first came on youtube and for all the new ones that have came I, man i am so grateful and i am absolutely blown away so thank you all very kindly what i'm making this morning working on this morning i guess is i have a lot in my freezer so i need to empty out a bit of it I am making hamburger rocks and I'm sure a lot of people have heard of these but for those that haven't it is um, boiling the meat and when it's completely done you're going to rinse it off three or four times because we want to remove the oil and you dehydrate it and I will show you what that looks like when I get to that step it's very very easy to do and a lot of times you know when you're busy throughout the day you can open your canning jars and that's a quick meal and I like that um, but I also like having this in my dry storage because all you need to do to rehydrate this stuff is just add in some boiling water or beef bouillon is the best actually but you can get away with water if you use the um, you know the beef bouillon powder just let it rehydrate and then put it in your dish as you normally would um, I don't eat a lot of spaghettis and things like that but for the times that I do especially um, or a dish like that it's just easier for me to open the jar and rehydrate it with the water that the pasta is boiling in so that's what I'm in process of doing um, some people do fry their meat to to do this project I don't I just boil it I just think it makes the meat really tender um, when I put it on the dehydrator I will be adding a little bit of salt to it but really not much else now if you want to add other things to it feel free that's your option I did add onions and things like that but you know I just decided I'm gonna add those anyway so I just kind of keep this plain and as it is I do this with ground beef I do it with turkey I do it with chicken just makes it really easy I've had them in my cabinet um, some of them for at least a year I still use them they're still fine and I just kind of replace my stock as it fades away so what we're gonna do here is just get this meat done it's still pretty frozen because I did just take it out of the freezer and I think I actually put in a little too much water but it did just come out of the freezer so it is going to have to have some time to uh, thaw in there and um, I will be back for step two when we're putting it on the dehydrator trays I'm gonna before I put it on the dehydrator trays I am going to put this in a colander I am going to rinse it at least four times you want the oil and the grease gone from this because you don't want it to turn rancid so that's the only only part of this you have to really pay close attention to it's just rinsing it really really well and you'll notice in the water that the oil will stop coming out so then you just have your meat and um, I will be back so we're back with this um, I forgot to say on the first part one of the reasons I choose to boil is because when you take your meat to 160 degrees you're going to kill botulism okay um, and that is very important so I am glad I got to get this in here but this is um, this is pretty much cooked and so what you do is you're just gonna pour it in a colander and like I said just rinse it off you know about four times is what I normally do some people do more some do less but I kind of stick around four times and when I get that part done because I think you all know how to use a colander just I just hold it under my sink water really and just rinse and rinse and rinse and kind of fluff through it with your fingers because it'll cool down with the with the cold water then I will be back from there to go to the next step okay okay and we are back um, I have rinsed the meat I've broken it up with my fingers while I was rinsing it just to make sure all the grease is off and really just put it on your dehydrator trays. Actually, I think one tray is going to hold this. We'll see. Uh, 
and um, you know dehydrate it on your meat setting until it's done it's kind of hard to say with because you know we all run different dehydrators it will shrivel up a lot but like I said it's it's pretty easy to rehydrate I would just suggest doing it with um, really with some stock or beef bouillon because you've kind of taken out a lot of the flavor when you've rinsed all the the oil off sadly but yeah you know okay so that's it if you want to add um, actually before it's on here if you want at this time you can add salt garlic onion powder whatever you want to just make sure it's nothing that has oil in it because we do not want this to turn rancid I'll be back when it's done okay and here we go it's done um, I'll be quiet and hopefully you'll be able to hear the crunchiness completely dry ready to rehydrate what um, all you're going to do now is um, pour it in your jar or vacuum seal it I suggest you use um, you know either an oxygen absorber or um, for my um, for my food sealer I have a, a uh, an adapter that will let me seal the large rings there are also ones for the small ones but I only have the large ones the large one at this point but vacuum seal it or throw in your oxygen absorber and I have had these in my cabinet for about a year actually I've had them in there for a year they still taste fine rehydrate use anywhere you would for cooked hamburger if you haven't tried them, like I said, you can try turkey and chicken as well. Just cook them up. Make sure you rinse them off. Getting the, the, the oil off is the big step here. And then just dehydrate them. And the chicken and the turkey look kind of really funny when you do them, but they do rehydrate just fine. I usually throw those in like an Alfredo or something like that. All in all, not too hard. Just time consumed is really just to let it cook and rinse them off and we all know how it works with the dehydrators so for those that haven't tried it there you go have a wonderful day and god bless you